Hello everyone, welcome to another Rario Pack Preview. This is for two big games. We're going to preview both games and we'll also look at what packs are available to you. So it's for the Zimbabwe-Netherlands game and the India-Bangladesh game. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to tell you his big GL picks for these two games. Yes, thank you so much for having me. As you can obviously see, uh, very delighted with the way the last two, the last few games have gone. Uh, this tells you why we keep saying to invest smartly. Pick the right mm. games and back the right guys because teams do do these kind of stuffs where they'll promote somebody, they'll demote somebody, change their mm. batting order. And this is why having that card of the lesser known guy always mm. comes to save you. Uh, I had Usman Ghani in the Afghanistan game, did fairly well, won into mm. captain, missed out because Nabi didn't do anything. And Nabi mm. literally did not do anything both with the bad board or the captaincy. So that's okay, we will learn. And uh, yep, let's see how these two games go. Yes, absolutely. The best part being here, even if our cards don't do too well, we yet still yes. manage to get in some rewards. So, and yes, yeah. the investment stays locked because once we have the cards, then we can keep playing with it. So, let's see what cards are in store for you and what packs you can buy for the upcoming games tomorrow. So, like you can see on our screen, the Zimbabwe and India debut and advantage packs are live. Same for the Zimbabwe and India champions packs as well as the uh, Bangladesh packs which should be live in some time while Zimbabwe Legends pack is already sold out. Now, how do you strategize this? Keep in mind that Zim for the Zimbabwe games, you can only use the Zimbabwe cards because there are no Netherlands player cards present. So, it, your best chance is to just pick three Zimbabwean players and that will make life easy for you. And as far as the India-Bangladesh games are concerned, both uh, teams' player cards are available and there are some big prizes to be one which we'll come to in a bit but i feel like if depends on your strategy here like if you feel like you don't have an extra indian gold card this might be the right time for you to get a pack and why would i say that because kl rahul has just come on radio and his gold card you have a good chance of getting in your packs a, a gold a black or whichever pack you buy so yeah. yes maybe it's the chance for you to cash in on that specific point too Bilkul and just to get to the Zimbabwe game as well. Now, you have a Zimbabwe pack, you have a Legends pack, you have a lot of things that you can do with strategies. It's a very open-ended suggestion here. Everybody hmm. will still make Sikandar Adha the captain. Right. Now, that's where you have to take the risk whether you want to do that or not. Hmm. So, in one context, go with him or hmm. use the uh, card according to the Legends pack according to that. Where hmm. you think he's going to bat and don't make him the captain or vice captain if you want. Try somebody else, whoever you think fits the bill. Maybe, maybe it might be Ryan Ball. Maybe it might be hmm. Sean Williams for the game against the Netherlands. Plenty of uh, right-handed battles for Sean Williams to take a four for as well. Who hmm. knows? So, that's how you need to think and strategize and be different. Now, you have to be different. You don't have to say that you don't have to say that. Maybe captain is your opponent. So that is the way right. to either stand out or either you make him the captain or take other two very differential picks. So that is the one way hmm. to stand out from the crowd. And uh, with the Indian uh, game, I think it is already we've talked in detail about how to smartly use the Legends pack uh, as well because hmm. you know who the batter one is. Uh, now you know who the batter right. four is, he's in form. But hmm. what if India get a great start and there is a change? Hmm. So these are all the things that you need to figure. What if Harvey then becomes your batter four? He comes on to bowl and takes three wickets. So that is the different variable combinations that uh, you can try out and uh, hopefully one of them clicks. Yes, absolutely. And with these two games, let's look at what reward pool we have present yeah. and how you can make best use of it and a few things that I've spotted till now. So if you can see on my screen right now, I'm showing you the D3 uh, part of the website. And here you can see I've opened the Zimbabwe Netherlands game. Now, one key thing in case somebody has missed out on this and not realized, black pool Keep in mind, Zimbabwe black card packs are for $150, which is cheaper than other black cards. And you can see the reward pool here is all the way up to the 361st rank. But I don't think this is going to go to there because the number of teams that have joined are only 16. And most people will think like, okay, Zimbabwe card might not be of too much of use to them. So they might sway away from the game. But keep in mind that Zimbabwe is also going to play India after this. And we know in India games, reward pools are bigger. 
and apart from that currently this is filled only till the 16th rank which means your 80 dollars is in and even if we assume that this fills till the 30th or 40th rank you still have a chance of getting 50 dollars so keep that in mind and think of whether you want that pack accordingly or not apart from that if you see even in the bronze contest currently 375 teams have joined and there are rewards to be won all the way to the 2500 rank so there are people who don't have as many cards and not participating much in this game. So maybe this is a chance for you to capitalize. And this is what we have said before. These are the games best for you. Because if you don't have any attention to it, you can try the combinations well. You can have multiple cards. And then, as we discussed, it is almost like playing a guaranteed reward competition. Hmm. Like even the Afghanistan game, I still got $6 value bonus. It is good for me. I can buy I can get a couple of bronze packs out of it at least. So that is hmm. the way to look at it. Uh, okay. You get in the game investment from the game itself. So that is the uh, handy way to you know really just stay afloat in the ecosystem. Right, absolutely. And if you look at the India game, there's something more appealing here. So if you see the bronze contest, again, only one, three, five, eight teams have joined till now. And the best part is here again till the two thousandth rank, you're guaranteed ten dollars. Ten dollars is 830 rupees now so while 10 dollars might sound small if you you are buying just two packs you are buying yeah. from, if you are a new user you are buying one pack of india one pack of bangladesh and you are practically eligible for this contest by paying just 4 dollars yeah. because the other four are sponsored by the link in the description so you are getting yeah. 6 dollars like back just for practically playing the game so exactly. keep in mind and you are because you are new and you all of us are new to this ecosystem in comparison to the others we'll be able to reap these advantages before the yeah. game gets more popular so try and make use of this and apart from that again if you look all the way here even the silver contest has a lot of big rewards all the way till the 2000 rank and same if you look at the black contest here the reward pool the 2000 dollar uh, cash price for the first winner and again till the 280th rank there are rewards to be won so there is a lot on offer and again only 100 teams have only joined in here till now so watch out for these small small things try and make a strategy for yourself see yeah. which which games have less teams participating yeah. and try and take part there and if you have any differential player thoughts it's the best time to use them and also keep playing the the major point of all, wanting you to play is it rewards playing as well your cards xp so yesterday you game card value so if my or women's cards are exactly the same, but XP is more than that, then heal will be more as compared to me. So it is why if you have a card, then use it, play it. If you don't have any useful thing, then trade it in the marketplace. You have a replacement in terms of you can sell and get hmm. one and then use it for some other player for that very game. So that can be done. Uh, just try and figure out one strategy for you. We feel it is easier to... Uh, have a strong strategy and get something out of it every game. If you keep track of these small, small things. If you want to play a lot of money, then you have a guaranteed reward. So if you want to play a little bit, then you have to pay a double three mile amount. Right, absolutely. And keep in mind that even if, for example, last moment you realize one of your players is not playing, don't not participate in the contest because of that. Because if the player is in the squad, you can still play with them and play with two out yeah. of three cards and yet have a chance to win something. So don't yes. not participate in a contest because you don't have a playing 11 card or something of that sort. Because still the players yeah. in the squad, he's eligible for you to play on D3. Maybe yeah. you might not get as many points on the player, but it's still better than not getting anything at all. So yeah. just ensure you take part in as many contests as possible. Yeah. And we're sure it'll work out for you. Thank you so much yeah. to everyone who tuned in and we hope you have a good set of games. Have a good time, guys. Take care.